All right, let's head over to Chuck now. Opening day at the Indiana State Fair. You're having quite the adventure at the fairgrounds this morning, but you actually just got back from an adventure in Chicago. We did, and by the way, when we were there, they were setting up for Lollapalooza. We're setting up for the race here, the balloon race, PNC Bank, IU Credit Union, REMAX balloons already set up. But let's talk about this trip to Chicago. You know, the Windy City is a place of sheer beauty, of fine dining, of excitement, music, the Cubs. And you'll see it all in my visit next week to Chicago with Chuck's Big Adventure. It's a city of fun, adventure, food, and history, and it's open for business. Chicago. We're headed to Chicago on a fun-filled trip with some sights you've never seen before. Welcome to Wrigley Field. We're going to head right this way. I've been a Cubs fan for decades, but we're down on the ground for a rare peek at some little seen sights up close and a taste of the history and emotion of the Northside Ball Club. 54 years a Cub fan, never done this before. 54 years ago, I was up there in that right field yeah. upper deck with my dad. Yeah. And just walking in here every time I come in just brings back a flood of emotions. He passed away a few years ago. Yeah. But I bet I'm not the first that you've heard that. No, I mean, it, it seems like everybody's got a story. Yep, we love pizza too. And you'll meet the expert on Windy City Pizza. Steve Delinsky says, not so fast. Deep dish isn't the only Chicago style pizza. All right, so I wanted to show you something besides deep dish, okay. right? So in Chicago, thank you, Chef. You know, we're also known for tavern style thin pizzas. This, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is Chicago style pizza. Yep, you got it. Stand by the cast off! Lake Michigan is a major stop for us, but not on a small boat. Stand by to set the sail! We're going back 150 years on a tall ship to crew the vessel and give you an unparalleled look at the beautiful skyline. Does this young man look like a server at a French restaurant? Nope, he's one of the youngest Michelin award-winning chefs in the world. Have you ever run across a situation where people did not believe you're the executive <laughs> chef? All the time. Really? Actually, it still, it still happens to this day. I'll walk up to a table and I'll drop a dish and I'll explain it and they're like, Please tell the chef everything was great. It's like, yes, I will. Don't I'll tell worry. myself. We'll snack on Chicago's most famous food export. I'm so glad we came here. Visit one of the nation's newest luxury hotels and stroll down the magnificent mile. Chicago, my hometown. Yeah. And how about this for an encore? What would Chuck's big adventure about Chicago be without Chicago? So We're backstage and on stage with Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, Chicago. Come on! From musical experience of a lifetime. It's a summer ending visit to everything Windy City. It's Chuck's big adventure next week. you guys enjoy it. We sure had a good time putting it together. By the way, we interviewed Chicago here at Ruoff Music Center last Friday night. You are going to love their reflection of memories and how they've touched people's lives. But uh, Dustin and Julia, I know you guys have both been to Chicago and I think you'll enjoy this. Yeah, that looks fantastic, Chuck. I got to ask you, what was it like being with Chicago yeah. in Chicago? It was awesome. I mean, uh, think about it. The three but remaining founding members, Lee Lockney, Jimmy Panko, Robert Lamb, are in their mid-70s. And they look like they're in their 50s, and they are on stage behaving like they're in their 20s. So it was a great time, and you'll enjoy that.